data coding and research methodology. Research methodology is the foundation of any scientific study. It gives us a structured way to gather, sort, and make sense of data so we can draw meaningful conclusions. One critical step in research is called data coding. In this video, we will learn what data coding is, why it matters, and provide examples to show how it's used in research. What is a data coding? Data coding is the act of converting unstructured data into a more manageable and structured format so that researchers may find themes, patterns, and relationships in their data. It includes giving different pieces of information, labels, or codes based on categories or criteria that have already been set. These codes facilitate the organization and interpretation of data by serving as a link between the raw data and the analytical phase of the research process. Types of data coding Coded data can be analyzed by statistical software and other tools. There are different types of data coding like Number 1. Nominal coding this is like giving data labels or categories. For example, if we ask people about their marital status, we could quote single as 1, married as 2, divorced as 3, and widowed as 4. Number 2. Ordinal coding. This is when we put data into categories with a specific order. Let's say we are asking people how satisfied they are. We might quote very dissatisfied as 1, frustrated as 2, neutral as 3, satisfied as 4, and very satisfied as 5. Number 3. Dichotomous coding. This is simpler. It's like saying yes, 1, or no. Zero. For example, if we are asking about gender, we could quote male as zero and female as one. Number four, numeric coding. This is when we use numbers for data. For example, if we are asking about age groups, we might quote 18 to 24 years old as one. 25 to 34 years old as 2, 35 to 44 years old as 3, and so on. Number 5. Drive variables. This means we create new stuff based on the data we already have. Like we might find the average scores for a bunch of survey questions or make a new thing by adding up other stuff. Number 6. Truncation. This is like chopping off part of a data number. For example, instead of saying 12.23 or 12.47, we might just keep 23 or 47. It's handy when people are doing the math themselves. What are the implications of data coding? Data reduction. When you have lots of data, coding makes it shorter and simpler. This makes it way easier to study large sets of data. Data organization. Coding helps you put similar information together in an organized way. This means you can manage and study your data more effectively. Number 3. Pattern Sporting. Coding helps you find patterns, trends, and connections in the data that might not be obvious when you are looking at the raw stuff. Interpretation and Analysis Coded data forms the foundation for crunching numbers and testing theories. Researchers can run tests on coded data to draw meaningful conclusions. Comparing Stuff Researchers can make better case or group comparisons when data is coded consistently. 
This helps come up with insights and theories. Examples of data coding and research. Now let's look at some examples to see how data coding is used in different kinds of research. Qualitative research. Data coding is frequently used in qualitative research to organize and analyze narrative or textual data. For example, consider a study on customer feedback on a new product. Categories like product quality, customer service, pricing and delivery could be used by researchers to quote customer feedback. Based on the main topic discussed, each comment would be assigned one or more of these codes. Historical research Even historical research benefits from data coding. Themes, key events and time periods can all be used by historians to assign codes to historical texts. This allows them to better examine historical data for underlying patterns and trends. Survey research Coding and survey research can involve assigning numeric values to liquid scale responses. For example, in a survey on job satisfaction, responses such as strongly disagree might be coded as 1, strongly agree as 5, agree as 4, neutral as 3, and disagree as 2. These scores allow for quantitative analysis of survey data. Content analysis Textual or visual content such as news stories or social media posts is often coded into predefined categories for content analysis. For example, in a study about news articles on climate change, you could quote articles as supportive of climate change neutral or skeptical of climate change. This helps you see how different ideas are presented in the media. Medical research. In medicines, coding might involve sorting patients' data into categories based on symptoms, medical history or test results. This helps researchers figure out which treatments work best for different conditions. Conclusion Data coding is like a super useful tool that makes research better. Whether you are doing qualitative or quantitative research, coding helps you turn raw data into smart insights. It's like sorting and organizing data, helping you discover hidden patterns, draw conclusions, back by evidence, and add to what we know in your field. Thank you for watching this video.